talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Sign Will caught a fish on the second cast on a spinner bait. Man, on a bait caster, too. It's a nice pound and a half. I'm getting ready to anchor here in a minute. As soon as I get clear of those lily pads, one cast over there. Yeah. Yeah, they're more colorful here in the winter. In the summer, when the water's muddy, they're real bland. That's a nice bass. Folks, this is a good sign, that's for sure. Man, already on them. Second cast. I kind of wish I would have put my spinnerbait on now. I'm getting ready to anchor here in about 30 feet. Right there, right where you just were, was where my five pounder nailed it. There he's four nine. Got one. Oh man, all right, Will's on number two. The spinnerbait seems to be the answer. That? Oh yeah, right, that's big. Oh it, yeah, it was the sun. He's about two. He's a good two pounder. I'm definitely gonna zoom in on you. He might go two and a half. That's about two, yeah. All right, Will got another spinnerbait bass. He's a, he's a full two. Yeah, oh yeah. Man, all right, we'll get a good, I'll send you this picture later. Right when the sun peaked out, guys, we thought it was gonna be overcast the whole day, but it seems to be clearing up. I would rather it be overcast, because I don't think the high temp's, what, 42? It ain't gonna warm the water up anyway. Might as well be cloudy. They're more, less spooky. Yeah, uh, not at all. That's the only reason I don't bring my dip nets because they don't real. I don't really worry. Even the the giant one I caught did about just like yours did. They shake their head a lot, but they don't run. It's just got like, short wiggles. <laughs> uh, uh, three already. I guess I should stop maybe. Before. We got a good average going on. They're all pound and a half and bigger. Another, he's a pound, yeah. A little over a pound, maybe. He's got all three on the white spinnerbait. To my zero. I am fishless, guys. What should I do with this guy? Make him use something bad? <laughs> A Guggen bait. <laughs> you have to use only Guggen bait. <laughs> That's a damn bald eagle, isn't it? All right, we're anchored. Problem is, we're going to do such big circles. I think we're going to end up going at that bank. So I'll just wait and see. I I'm also using this. 
experimenting with a new line. It is P-Line fluorocarbon coated high-vis fluorescent 12 pound. And at first I was disappointed in it, but then I learned it's got a spray down and see with the uh, real magic and then it has like a green. So far, no problem. Oh, he really, yeah, barely hurt actually. <laughs> wow. Not bad, guys. We're getting a good average. We just ain't getting great numbers, but they're adding up. That's five fish. Four, four fish. We just can't find them. The problem today we're having is we here with south wind. And me and him happen to come here when it's going directly out the door, which is a whole different story. So we don't know where the fish are piling up at. They seem to be right here more than they were down there. But... Mold remover. Tylex. All right, Will's on number four for himself. Oh man, I think he might have one of the giants that's located in this lake. Yes, he does. It's pretty big anyway. His rod's bending good. I haven't seen the fish yet. He's a three and a half, four. Oh man. Yeah, he's a he's a three. Man. Get a good picture of him here. Boy, that sun's bright. I can't really. All right, make him where he's like curled real bad. There we go. <laughs> he's curling either way. There we go. That's a nice one there, man. Hold on, I'm doing too much. Like I did with the wall. I don't want to do that again. All right, guys, we may have a good day after all. We should just figure out the crappie. Get the crappie to bite. Well, I need to be, I need to be throwing the crappie stuff at the same time. Part of my problem. I need to switch. I got four different things. I need to keep taking turns. Let's see, I haven't tried this one yet. But I would do if you have to. Even without a bead, it'll help. Just a single, single hook. He came back after it. Different one. My goodness, guys, we're really on him. His spinnerbait seems to be outperforming. It's a three, though. Again. My God. Are you dragging bottom? Another three pounder guy. Oh my gosh. Man. We've officially caught six, I think, already. You caught four, I caught two. No, I only caught one. Yeah, you caught four, I caught one. Five fish already. And a half if you count that one that we never got to see. They won't even hit this missile though, or a minnow or nothing else. Two crappie as my battery went dead. I'm wanting to keep one of them, I guess, and the other one's too small, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, I won't I don't think I'll bother with that second one. Oh, you got one for sure. Yep. Yeah, I'll keep that one. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my uh, Chinese reel here. Bobby Garland. Let's see if the orange dream sickle. All right, folks, we've been wondering where the crappie were. Last week, they were about 300 yards behind us. And they weren't there as of now, but now he found them. And five minutes ago, it's funny, I said, there has to be crappie on the outside of this tree. And sure enough, I just don't wanna get hung. What I worry about. Just need a little bigger one. Oh, I had one. I had a hit. I'm just gonna have to fish the outside. See it. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, my first slab. It's not a slab, but it's a crappie. And mine's a black. At least we're on them. That's all that makes me. I'll start getting disappointed in the crappie when we figured them out. Each time I come to this lake, guys, I'm learning more and more to where it's easier each time. All right, little black. We got one white and one black, I think. Yep. 
One of each. Now we need a hybrid and a black nose. <laughs> Won't touch the minnows, huh? Weird. Got one? Oh, that's that one. snag one, yeah. God. Not having the, oh my God. It's a slab, big slab, 12. I let that fall about six feet. So there's our, there's our answer. Six feet down. Uh, he ain't that big. He felt like it. Yeah, it ain't. He's ten, maybe not. Nine or ten. Yeah. It's not bad. All right, guys. You know how I do it. I hook him in the mouth. You ever watched him? He's a crazy uh, Cuban guy from Florida. I think he's Cuban or Spanish. Every fish he catch, it's, that's his channel. Hook him in the mouth kayak fishing. He always goes, you know how I do. Guys, nice little white crappie. We ended up having a good day, man. It's not even noon yet. It just turned noon. See, he was on the outside of this bro about 10 feet out because I kept hitting that stick. And I let this thing go five or six. You're double hung. Oh. And I count the six when my jig hits the water. And once I start catching crappie guys, I try to maintain that same depth and it usually works. Sometimes they'll change throughout the day though. An hour from now, they could be only three foot down. He felt bigger than what he was though. The way, cause he fully changed. I guess catfish will be around the corner. <laughs> and then bluegill at the end. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? There we go. It's a big one. It's bigger. Now that is a slab, guys. Yes, he did. They're like good. I can't believe this is for north wind. Maybe that's just a mint. Say north is the worst direction you can fish for crappie in, but we're doing it, guys. And it is what? December the December the 14th. Well, you all are sitting at home on your couch saying it's too cold to fish. Maybe this will change your mind. I got you got to get the flyers out. I guess. He's really inhaled that thing. It's way down in his or in his cranberries. It's in his cranberries, guys. Now all we need is some turkey dressing. Have ourselves a meal. I'm going to go ahead and leave the measuring tape out too. The scale I won't worry about until we get another big bass. Now you probably want to come back, don't you? It's not bad at all. Yeah. For what? Out? We've maybe been here an hour and a half. We've only fished a hundred yards, two hundred yards of the way. Catch them all the way through. Stay in your spot long enough, I guess. Ooh, he is. He's not gonna make it. Yeah. They've been catching the hell out of them. I'd look at that Waffle Hell on Facebook page. And this guy catches them in the creek channel. He is about 11. dripping blood. I gotta get him in the bucket before it gets on me. Oh man. Do not want that all over my pants. I already got crappie slime all over my pants. It's obviously what I've been doing now. Probably bigger. There he is. 
It's another nice one. My God, we ended up doing damn good today, man. <laughs> For a fair day. It's supposed to just be fair. And there's hybrid crappie in here too. That They look, they're a mix between black and white. When you get them half and half like this, they're bound to breed on accident. All right, guys, this one's probably 10 or 11. Not bad on the orange dream sickle as usual. This has been my lure of the last two months. This is it's been my number one go-to crappie fall lure ever since October when I first discovered them. You see they weren't hitting the crankbait though like they were the other day. There he is. He just ain't there he is. This one's got some backbone. I'll give you one. Oh, he was yeah, he was hooked. <laughs> kind of funny. He's a, he's not even worth keeping this one. I'll get you one. Unless, unless you want to try the experiment one, the Eclipse. This one's got a little larva in him. It's always on their fins. I'll show you those ones. They're badass. I know they're gonna work. I got a bag just of Bobby Garland's now. It's, that way I can find stuff easier. Uh, they're not letting you pull them as easy. They're kind of like. See, these are some of these I quest. Oh, he's got a lot of them block, uh, dots on them. I want him to at least be eight. He's almost seven. Not quite big enough to get a... He's got a lot of them things on him too though. You think? I don't want to wipe out this place though. Richard Jean says you can't really. Yeah, but one like this, and nobody else is fishing it really. They have like two or three thousand babies each. Yeah. If anything, it probably helps helps them grow bigger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's Vegas. All right, guys, we are going to try a new Bobby Garland that I've never tried called Vegas. It's half very bright pink. Half purple with glitter, heavy glitter. More of a, I see it being more of a sunny weather bait, but I bought it, I might as well try it. And I'm downsizing my hook to a 1 16th ounce instead of the 1 8th. So I can fish a little slower. works guys all right Vegas is on the money already like it so far not as much as the orange dream said well that is my favorite last year it was electric chicken over and over and blue ice in the church all right a little six inch I'm gonna throw him back Ain't too little that's a wapapello crappie there Not bad. He's an eight. All right, guys, I gotta change my battery and then I'm about to lose confidence. You don't even have to do it. All right, guys, I switched my method to a float 36 inches down from the Vegas Bobby Garland 116,000. Worked right away. I'm only keeping them if they're eight or nine. Getting too many. I do it on purpose, make it funner. 
Or in case I get a giant bass. Yep. I got his little white. No, it's a black. Purple ain't totally a failure. It's working, just not as much. Hey, it ain't a bad one. I was just setting it down. I was just letting it set. Wasn't even moving it. I twitch it about every 20 seconds. But it had sat there a good 10 or 15. Alright, nice little black guy. I've never done this for crappie except one time the with a float. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. There's a lot of sevens in here. Could be worse though. Wish that size average was bigger, but Ooh. 